Welcome fellow devs. Today I will be discussing the orange box in the diagram, which represents the contract of an open API RESTful web service. One key takeaway is that it's not just the contract implementation you're testing, but the overall functionality of the entire API. Let's drill in on that point. Imagine an endpoint to create a user profile that meets the API definition. However, that endpoint that did return the saved address with an ST now validates that address from some other source, converting ST to street. This example illustrates that monitoring a change in a static contract for a REST endpoint isn't enough for API integrity. This becomes significant when clients use your application and you change your backend functionality that breaks the functional contract. These issues might not even be obvious until the customer no longer receives their goods and services, potentially resulting in damage reputation or financial loss. This is where API functional testing comes in. It ensures that both the API contract and backend functionality stay consistent when you make changes. If you make breaking changes, you can plan by using best practices like API versioning to ensure your clients can adapt. Now, I'll show you how easy it is to functionally test your API using the power of AI with Codiumate, allowing the confident changes to your backend logic. Let's dive in. The Spring Boot application implementing the Open API contract and functionality is located at our Dev Labs repo on GitHub. Let's go ahead and look at the API. We have three simple endpoints for this example. One is to create a profile, the other one is to get a single profile or to get all of the profiles. Let's go ahead and execute these, but first we have to start our Spring Boot application. Now that I have it started, let's go ahead and get a profile. And you'll see that I got John Smith. And then let's go ahead and create one. And then let's go ahead and retrieve all of those. So this is great. We are now see how the API works. Next, we will go ahead and start doing our functional testing. I want to test my open API spec. So let's add that to our context. Then I'm going to select my Spock test. And my prompt is, I'm not going to read it word for word, but really what I'm saying is to use the when, where, then that comes with the Spock framework. And then also to specifically use the open API file to test out that um, API. So I'm going to go ahead and tell Codiumate to do that. And this can all be found in the readme of the project. So you can see it referenced my API docs, like I said. It gave me an explanation. And now we have our tests. So let's go ahead and paste that in here and test this out. First, what I'm going to do is format. and do the reformatting. You can see here too that we're only testing this locally. So I'm going to have to run my application server locally right now, but your CI CD pipeline for your functional testing, you're going to want to point to that server. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. And you're still in the driver's seat. So you're going to look and make sure, okay, I have IDs and names and emails and this looks okay. So let me go ahead and run this. you'll see that we passed all the tests and we might want to do more. Right now, today, I'm not going to, but go ahead and you can always continue this chat and say, give me more tests. Let's recap. We talked about the importance of functional testing and how it's not just the contract you're testing, but the overall functionality. We demonstrated using Codiumate, adding to its context, the open API spec and prompting Codiumate to create the functional tests for us. Happy coding with Codiumate.